Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about C programming. And in C programming, today we are going to talk about size of function and arithmetic expressions and how to use them in a proper way. So let's start the video. First of all, size of function is used to find the size of the variables. So what actually size of any variable means? So we have different data types in C. For example, in the last lecture I showed you about int, char, long and so on. So these are the data types. So there are many data types in C and these data types occupy space in the memory of your computer or even your any embedded system. So different data types occupy different spaces in the memory. Okay, so any programmer using these data types must be aware of their sizes and their behavior before using them. Otherwise, the program may generate unwanted and unexpected results. So beforehand, we must be knowing about the different data types, their sizes and their behaviors also. Let us briefly look into the program to understand more about this particular feature. So here we have a program. I'm going to copy this program and I'm going to paste it to the code block. In the first video, I have discussed about the code block, their basics and how to use them and how to debug program in code block. So first of all, I'm going to build the program. So, okay, so building of program is completed. In the bottom, we can see build finished, zero error, 14 warnings. That means, okay, there are warnings, but still the program can run because there are no, there is no error in this particular program. So let us try to understand what this size of function actually does and how to use this function to know the size of the different data types. Okay, I'm going to run this program step by step. So for that, I will go to this particular button, step into, click on that so that I can execute this program step by step. Okay, so first of all, you have to notice here that this section of program, that means declaration of the variables has been done and our program is right now waiting on this particular line because you can see a yellow mark here which shows the program is yet to finish or yet to exit uh, compile or execute this particular line okay so now let us try to execute this line for that i am going to the button next line on the top okay here and i will click it once so now it has executed this particular line so what we have done in the part uh, in this pro particular program we have declared a character boolean integer float long 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 double these are the data types and the variable names are character boolean integer floating underscore number variable underscore long variable underscore long long and last variable underscore double okay so this particular line has been executed for checking that particular output we can go to the console and here we can see in the console it has been printed the size of variable boolean is one bytes so you might have noticed here i have used a special character specifier okay or we can say data specifier which is zu okay in the bottom you can see i have used percentage d also which is to represent the integers remember both these data type okay, the data type specifiers 
do the same function but it is always recommended to use zu when you are using size of function so therefore to clarify that doubt i have kept both percentage zu and percentage d in the program so we have noticed the output the output says the size of variable boolean is 1 bytes okay so let us execute similarly all the rest of the lines line by line so finished so what we have done here the size of variable character is size of character similarly the size of variable integer is percentage zu will take the data from this particular integer size of integer okay let us check the outputs here so here we can see at the console the size of variable floating number is 4 byte so it is clear that the size of floating data type is 4 bytes long takes 4 byte in the memory long long takes 8 bytes in the memory and double also takes 8 byte in the memory so just to show you that percentage d and percentage zu they give the same response here you can see from the console okay i have separated the console or the section of the console in two halves the upper half is printing the data when you have percentage zu and the lower half is printing the data when you have percentage d as the data specifier okay so here you can see almost both the results are same so this was about the size of the variables so depending on your requirement you should choose the size of the particular variable otherwise you will be wasting a lot of memory for maybe small data types or small data okay so depending on the size of the data that you are expecting in your program you should always choose this particular variables especially when you are using embedded systems okay let us continue with our talk so now let us talk about arithmetic expressions in c basically remember arithmetic expressions are related to plus minus into multiplication division and modulus okay so these are the arithmetic expressions in c or any other language so almost in all programming languages be it c c++ java any other language most of the languages use this particular notation plus is used for addition minus sign is used for subtraction star is used for multiplication and slash is used for division operation okay now remember all these operators have different levels of priority in c language not only c almost in every language they have different priority levels so depending on the priority the program will execute the particular arithmetic operation first or depending on their priority it will be executed later so uh, let us talk about the priority so remember division has the highest priority and subtraction gets the lowest priority so division then after that you have the multiplication addition and subtraction when we talk about modulus remember modulus also takes the priority which is almost equivalent to the multiplication okay modulus operator is represented by percentage sign and it is used to calculate the remainder of any division operation okay so to find the remainder we can use modulus operator remember one more important thing that modulus operator only works with integer data type if you try with float or any other data type it will not work one last thing to remember is that whenever you have to calculate the 
function where you have multiple multiplications additions or divisions involved in one particular line then in that case remember this particular word bod mas bod mass and every language uses this particular protocol to execute the division multiplication and addition subtraction so first of all always the programmer or the language will take off the bracket or solve the all the multiplications divisions within the bracket then after that division multiplication addition and subtraction so in in short we can say taking off the bracket has has the highest priority okay let us see the programming and then from there it will be more clear so here we have the program let me copy it and place it in the code block so first of all i will rebuild the program because the program has been changed and we can see in the bottom zero error zero warnings that means the program has been execute uh, compiled without any error so let us try to code this program again line by line okay so i will press the button step into and our pointer is waiting here so right now this particular line will be executed in the beginning and like i showed you in the last class or in the last video here you can see variable a b c d result these variables already have some value in them and these values are called garbage values although they have not been initialized they still contain some garbage value so let us execute the program line by line so i will just execute the first few lines where i have initialized the variables with some values so now a is 100 b is 2 c is 25 d is 4 and result still contains a garbage value because we have not con completed or compiled this particular line okay so we execute the line and now you can see result contains 102 which is the addition of a plus b so let me go one more line and after executing this you can see here a is 100 b is 2 and a plus b is equal to 102 how this particular line has been executed you can see here we have data specifier percentage i for integer percentage i for integer and then a plus b is equal to percentage i so first of all the a variable will be shifted to this particular i the value of a then value of b variable will be shifted here and then at the end result will be loaded into this particular data specifier so that's why we got a message here a is 100 b is 2 and a plus b is 102 so this is how the addition was performed let us go to the next line here we have subtraction so a minus b so we can see here the message here a is 100 b is 2 and the subtraction of a minus b will give us 98 so this is very clear similarly multiplication and division after this we can see the messages here b is 2 c is 25 and multiplication of b and c will result in 50 okay this is clear then after that here a is 100 c is 25 and a divided by c will give you 4 so this is division so now in this equation we can see here that we have a plus b multiplied by c so remember multiplication has higher priority so first b multiplied by c will take place and then addition of that will be taken with the a so let us execute this line and check the result okay so you can see here here a is 100 b is 2 c is 25 so first of all b plus c okay so b plus c is 25 plus 2 and a is 100 so you will get 
50 plus 100 that is equal to 150 clear now let us see here a more complex function for example here we are going to do a multiplied by b plus c multiplied by d so remember first of all a will be multiplied by b and then c will be multiplied by d and then only the total sum will take place okay let us execute this line also and here our result is a is 100 b is 2 c is 25 d is 4 so a multiplied by b okay so 200 plus c multiplied by d so 100 200 plus 100 is equal to 300 so this is how according to the priority the function has executed now let us go down and see the rest of the program so let us check the board mass rule here here a plus b will be executed first then c plus d will be executed and after that multiplication will take place why because i like i said in the slide first of all brackets will be solved and whatever in, is in the bracket will be solved prior to to any other operation so here we have the result from the result you can see here a is 100 b is 2 c is 25 d is 4 and a plus b so a plus b 100 plus 2 then c plus d is 25 plus 4 29 so 102 multiplied by 29 you will get 2958 this is the result which is printed in the console so let, let us go for the next part where we are taking modulus of c and d remember modulus this operation gives us the reminder of the division so c divided by d and we will get the reminder in the console let us check here so here c is 25 d is 4 Okay, and C modulus D is 1. Why? Because if you divide 25 by 4, then you will get 1 as a reminder and this 1 is printed as modulus of C and D will give you 1. Okay. Similarly, you can have more complex functions like this. C divided by D multiplied by D plus C modulus of okay so in this case remember this division will take place this modulus will take place second and then this addition will and then this addition will take place only after the multiplication of the result from c divided by d okay so please follow this mathematics and do it yourself and let us check the result here in the console so c is 25 d is 4 so c divided by d multiplied by d plus this particular modulus will take place and then the addition will take place okay remember i am not using this particular line or this particular line of codes because like i said before modulus operation is only for integers for example if i just delete this part okay delete this part and just try to execute this part of program let me delete rest of the program okay so here what we are doing we are declaring two variables where float one where float two both are of data type float and then we are trying to take the modulus of the two so since there is a change in the program first we will have to rebuild the program so for that i will rebuild the program and here you can see result declared first using the function so invalid operands to binary modulus float and float so this error will take place if we try to 
एक मॉडल ऑफ फ्लोटिंग डेटा टाइप्स विद दिस I come to the conclusion of this presentation or the lecture. If you like this video, then please like the video in the YouTube and please give your suggestions and comments for this video. And stay safe. Thank you.